So let's say we want to find the shortest distance between the point A at 2, 3, minus 1 and the line L. OK, so let's draw a little diagram so that we can make sense of what's going on here. Here's, gonna, here's the line. OK, so there's the line L. And here is a point A. OK. So effectively, what we want to do is we want to find that shortest distance between the line and the point. So we want to find that distance effectively. Now that will make a right angle with the line. OK, so we're going to use the fact that it would make a right angle in order to help us. And that will create this coordinate B. So this point B will be the shortest or, uh, or the closest point to A that is on the line. OK, so that's B. And because it lies on the line, this is kind of like the step that you need to take here. Because it lies on the line, you can say that it has the coordinates given by this line. So 1 plus 1 lot of lambda. So it's effectively using the top, middle, bottom row. Minus 3 plus 0 lots of lambda. And 4 take away 1 lot of lambda. OK. So there is a point B where there is some lambda, OK, a lambda that will give me the shortest or the point that is closest to A, OK? So what I want to do is I want to find A, B. Now, the reason why I want to find A, B is because I know that that is perpendicular to the line. Because I know it's perpendicular to the line, I know that that vector will be perpendicular to 1, 0, minus 1, the direction vector of the line. And so we could use the scalar product being equal to 0 in that case in order to find lambda. OK, so that's my route through. So a to b is b minus a. So 1 plus lambda take away 2. So that will get me um, lambda minus 1. We're going to have, um, sorry, b minus a, isn't it? So minus 3 take away 3, so minus 6. And then 4 minus lambda take away minus 1, and so that's 5 minus lambda. So that's A, B. And I know that that dotted with that will get me 0. So lambda minus 1, minus 6, and 5 minus lambda dot with 1, 0, minus 1 should get me 0. OK? So... Lambda minus 1 times 1, plus minus 6 times 0, plus 5 minus lambda times minus 1, which is lambda minus 5. And that should get me 0. So I've got two lambdas. I've got minus 1, take away 5, so minus 6 is 0. So if I add 6 to both sides and divide both sides by 2, I get lambda must be 3. OK, so that now tells me the coordinates of B. So B must have the coordinates 1 plus 3, minus 3, and 4 minus 3. So that, that's the coordinates of B. Now, I want to find the shortest distance between A and B, or the shortest distance, the, dis the actual distance between A and B now. So, effectively, I want to find um, the length of the vector AB. So, that means, so AB is equal to lambda take away 1, so 2, minus 6. And 5 minus lambda, so 2. So I want to find the length of that vector. So that's 2 squared plus minus 6 squared plus 2 squared square rooted. OK. So that's the square root of 2 squared uh, plus 6 squared plus 2 squared. And that gets me 2 root 11. OK which is approximately 6.6 .6 units, okay? 
So that is how you can find the shortest distance between a point and a line. Okay, and it really hinges on you being able to identify that that closest point will have coordinates given by the top, middle, bottom of the equation of a line.